Hey, what's going on out there, Bay of Illinois? Uh, it's kind of late Wednesday night. I'm recording this again. For those that saw the broadcast for This Week in Abate, when we aired our interview with Ron Sloan of 10 Mile Creek, the broadcast dropped out several times. Uh, signal actually went static. So we wanted to record this little piece to re-air the interview in its entirety. It's about eight minutes long. I strongly encourage you, if you have an interest in the history of Abate and where we came from, uh, especially you younger folks out there uh, that aren't aware of the way things used to be in the 70s, 80s, early 90s, please watch this entire interview. Uh, Ron talks about the history of where we came from, talks about his old timers ride uh, that's going to be happening this weekend, leaving from the depot in Kenny. He also talks about the history that started Prairie Land Abate and why they needed their own building uh, because of some of the uh, attitudes and behaviors they encountered uh, back in the mid, mid to late 80s. So here it is in the entirety, the interview with Ron Sloan of 10 Mile Creek Abate. So camera's rolling now. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, so let's start out. Uh, if you would, just please introduce yourself for everybody. Uh, my name is Ron Sloan. I'm from Decatur, Illinois. I'm 79 years old, and I've been a member of Abate uh, of Illinois since 1986. Now, for those that aren't familiar, 1986, that's when Abate of Illinois started, yes, 86, 87, yes, right? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. We, in fact, I was trying to get into, we tried to start Abate before that that didn't fly. Easy Riders, I think, was in charge of that at that time. Okay, but you literally have been with this organization yes, since the beginning. Yes, I have. Okay, that's awesome. And what chapter are you part of these days? These days, 10 Mile Creek. Okay, so you're here in Decatur, you're a member of 10 Mile Creek. Now, I heard through the grapevine you host this ride called the Old Timers Ride. Yes, sir. Can you please explain to us what the Old Timers Ride is, where it's starting, and why we should be on it? Well, Old Timers Ride, I've been doing it for probably 15 years. Uh, I guess maybe I sh maybe should change the name so you wouldn't think that it has to be an old person to ride on it. But that's why that, that was, I'm just trying to teach people what we had to go through years ago and, not with that, and talk to them about that. But this ride will start in Kenny, Illinois at the depot this coming Saturday on the 28th and uh, sign ups from 9 to 10 a.m. Now, you talked about what what we, referring to bikers, back at the beginning, back in the mid-80s, right. early 90s, had to go through. Please, talk about that. I, I want to know about well, that. 19, in the, well, the 70s, 80s, uh, the, it's not like today. You know, bars are calling you today and wanting you to stop it, stop in and have a poker run. Back then, you had to beg them to, to actually come in, and normally you couldn't even beg them. And what we did at the time we would fill our saddlebags up with whatever drink that we wanted to drink and we would take off and ride and maybe pull in. At that time, there was a lot of rest areas and we'd pull into a rest area and that's where we'd have our, our poker run and then we could drive to the next rest area or a state park or wherever that, whoever was leading it, wherever he decided to pull over. So you had to make your own stops had to, had because businesses stops. would not welcome yeah. bikers. Like I said, back here in Decatur, there was a bar that we've done a lot of picketing on that if you, you wouldn't allow Harley Davidson shirt in there, a motorcycle shirt. And if you, if you did ride your bike in, you had to park it in the back, not in the front. They wouldn't allow you to park the bike in the front. So, so on this ride, you're going to teach some of that history and show some of the places that we yes. used to stop, right? Whenever I first started, I, was, I actually furnished all the booze and, and, and soda and whatever, water. And uh, I, liked, I stopped in a place like the covered bridge down in Cowden. South of Springfield, over there. That was one of my stops. But at the the cost of having that is uh, I I'm retired now and I, I I'm on a budget, so I cannot do that anymore. But I try to take them in places they probably haven't ever been before. Okay, so this isn't your standard. We're going to a bar. This is going to learn history of where our movement came exactly. from. Exactly. You know, and anytime anybody wants to ask me a question, talk to me, I'm more than happy to do that. And like I said, these aren't, these aren't the TT stops. It's not tavern to tavern. These are, these are 30 to 40 miles in between, in between each stop. So it's riding a motorcycle. And that's what I believe in is riding a motorcycle, you know, and that's what I do. So I, uh, I just kind of want your perspective because you've been with this since the beginning. You remember what it was like to have places that didn't want bikers yes. around. Yes. 
How do you feel seeing what it was back then versus what we have now? Well, it, it's, it's just a total flip of the coin. You know, like I said, now now the bars will... I've had many calls when I was a president. I had many calls and the bars were calling me wanting for me to stop at their bar. And back then, you know, it was it was kind of disheartening. You know, they, they didn't want you. No matter what, you know, they just didn't want you. And I'm not saying just because you rode a Harley because I'm talking about any bike. A Honda Rider or Yamaha doesn't make it didn't make any difference. It was any biker they didn't want. Yeah, and when you mentioned that they didn't want us, didn't want bikers, um, you were originally part of a chapter that did something about this. You want to talk about that a little bit? I'm assuming you're talking about Prairie Land. Whenever, the, yeah, whenever you know we had, we got tired, what we would do a lot of times at night or maybe once or twice a month. We would meet in somebody's garage and bring our own, and you know, just, just you know, fellowship. We got a variety of people riding with, with the same uh, ideals, and so that's one of the, the our bright idea of built, buying a building and doing the same thing. Only it would be in a in a universal spot or an individual spot. So that's whenever we created Prairie Land Abate, or that's uh, the Prairie Land Abate was already. That's whenever we bought the building. And but, and to this day, Prairie Land stands as the only chapter that has their own building. Yes, yes, it is. But that building is rooted in the history yes. of us originally not having was, anywhere to be. Whenever we bought that building, it was a church. And we sold all the pews in there, which was really nice old pews. We sold all the pews to pay for the building. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's one way of getting it done, it right? Was, it, was, it was, yeah. Because we, well, in fact, what we did use some of the pews to make the bar and some of the little tables around there also, but that's what we did. So this weekend, Kenny, Illinois at the depot, what time? 9 to 10, sign up. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the depot, Kenny, Illinois, for Ron Sloan's Old Timers Ride. That's We're correct. speaking with Ron yeah. Sloan right now. Why should everybody be on this ride? If you care about motorcycles, why should you well, be on this ride? You know, you can talk, there, be, there besides myself, I know there'll be less, some older guys there also, so you can pick pick our brains and talk to us about what we went through and where we're at now and where we could be going in the future, you know. Uh, and if you like riding, be sure to be on it because it's it's a, it's a good ride. And uh, people, they don't want to get away from when, they don't want to get away from the pack because they'd be lost. Because I take them through the, I don't take, I, I don't do 70 mile an hour. I take them through the country and we go to bars that probably most people haven't been to before. So it's going to be a good country boondocks ride. A nice, nice, easy ride. 60 mile an hour is the fastest, the fastest I'll ever go. And most of the time it's way below that. So There you go. Um, is there anything else that you want people to know? Any of your experience in Abate? Anything you think that our people out there in Facebook land you know, should know I'm, about? Like I said, it, you know, just come on the ride. And even if you don't go on my rides, get, get involved in Abate because we need people to get involved. Right now... We've done such a good job, sometimes it's hard to get people to get involved because they don't have to worry about some of the things that we had to worry about. I mean, we wrote, we, at that time, we wrote letters and took them to Springfield, bags of mail. We took them to Springfield and put them on the lawn over there in Springfield. This is the things we used to do. We don't have to do that anymore, mainly because of social media and things like that. But those are the things that we did have to do. I mean, mail bags full of that's awesome to hear. I mean, major letter writing campaign. Yes, was. We we do similar now with email, but it right. just doesn't have that same visual no, impact. You and you're you, right. You don't have it in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, Ron, um, I thank you very much for letting me into your house uh, and, and you. talking this over. And uh, if you're out there listening to this, uh, once again, tell everybody where it's going to be this weekend. Kenny, Illinois at the depot uh, between 9 and 10. I'm probably going to leave a little bit later than 9 because the first stop I found out later on that they didn't open up till 11. So we're, 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 we're be leaving about 10, 15, probably. About 10, 15 or so. All righty, Ron. Well, thank you very much. And uh, look forward to hearing that you had a great turnout on the ride. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate it. Thank you. There we, and there we have it. Ron Sloan from 10 Mile Creek Abate. Uh, thank you very much, Ron, for having me out to your house to do that interview uh, Monday earlier this week. Hope to see a lot of people show up for that ride, especially if you're in the central Illinois area. It's a good chance to learn a little bit of a bait history. 
Um, I tell you what, it was a really eye-opening interview for me. Uh, hopefully this carries out properly and everybody gets a chance to see it and share it. Uh, it's going to be posted on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, until then, remember, this week in Abate, usually Wednesday nights, 8 o'clock here on Facebook. Uh, next show will be September 15th. Everybody have a good one.